right, so this is a quick video for students and parents about using Microsoft Teams. We're going to start by signing in. There's two ways for you to access Microsoft Teams. One is through an internet browser and going to office.com and signing in. You enter your student's username, followed by at sd43.bc.ca. This will take you to the SD43 login page where you enter the password. From here, we want to uh, log in. This stay signed in is up to you. And you will see this takes us to Office 365. From here, we have all the Office 365 apps, including Teams. Another way to access Teams is by downloading the app on your computer or mobile device, including tablets, and installing it and then clicking on the Teams icon. Once logged in, you'll see that you right away get sent to your Teams and can access them from there. This takes us to uh, the most recent team, the most recent place where the student has logged in. Every team comes with this general channel. These are different channels that the students can participate in. My son Ben is in French Immersion, so they have a, a general channel where the general information is given. They have a grade 5 uh, private chat where only grade 5 students can participate. They have activities about themselves. They have supplementary activities. They have the plan of the week, which gets posted weekly there. And they have a playground chat where they are able to chat with one another. And they have another uh, channel that is used for art. In the general channel, you also have, so you have these general posts Depending on how it's set up, students or teachers can post here. Sometimes it's set up so that only uh, teachers can post here. You have a section for files. So you can see any of the files that have been uploaded. This section here is for class materials and they are read only. So if the teacher puts something there, the students can't modify them. They can read them, but they can't modify them. We have a class notebook, which is a OneNote class notebook. Some classes use this, most don't. And we have the assignment section for this class. This is where the student can see their assignments. So here Ben has one that is uh, coming up and he also has these that he's finished. You can see the check mark there means that they've been returned. So he can check them and see for information. Uh, at elementary level and middle level, a lot of teachers don't use the grade section. So you, you could see here, he can see the status. So two have been returned, two have been handed in, no points have been given because anecdotal feedback has been given rather than points. In each of the subsequent channels, there is a post section and a file section. Okay, as well as a note section. In most classes, the general channel is the one used the most, with other channels being used for specific uh, purposes, like specific subjects or small groups, things like that. On the sidebar, we have another navigation section. This is where the student can see if they click here, they can see all of the teams that they're a part of. They can see all of the assignments from all of their classes. Uh, there's a calendar function and they can see all of their files. So all of the files that they have uploaded or are attached to them by a teacher. If you receive a team code from a teacher and you want to join a team, 
assigned to you by a teacher, you can click on the Create Team or Join Team button here and enter the code here. You will be automatically entered into the team with that code.